NIS America and write stuff. Now, we usually have a, a rules video. How many of you people follow YouTube? Do you guys know what it is? Come on, let's have some. Yeah? yeah? Okay. Thanks for not like to this. Well, usually we try to have a fun music, uh, not music video, we try to have a fun video done by somebody of, uh, of, of uh, well-known, well-known in the community and, nah, you can tell I haven't slept. Um, but this year, we got Rental Floss, who is well-known for putting video game, uh, lyrics to video game music, it's like, you know, we walk through the, we walk through the forest and we take stuff from the world, like creatures and this type of thing, and it's hilarious. So we asked him, just on a lark, would you like to do an Akon Rules video? And he was like, sure. And what, well, would you like to come to Akon maybe? And he said, sure. Yeah. So he's one that she'll be seeing throughout the weekend as well. And he's done cons before, he knows anime cons, and he's going, ow. He did a, uh, a uh, Rules video for us, so we could get that started. Put a plus on it. Rules video. Yeah, lots of people like it. Akon 22, it is I, your favorite internet mini celebrity, B -b -b You know that guy that adds lyrics to video game music? Well, if you don't, use the Googles. Googly, googly, goo. Alright, usually it's my job to seduce the ladies and write tunes that make the world sing, but right now, it's my job to tell you the rules for Akon 22. So listen up. Rule number one, please do not smoke inside the premises. Uh, you don't want to start a fire. It turns out that uh, fires actually do not increase enjoyment of anime conventions. So if you're going to smoke, please take it outside. Also, if you're going to eat a burrito and then drink three Mountain Dews and then fart, take that outside too. <laughs> Rule number two, there will be drinking at this convention, duh. But if you want to take part in that sweet, sweet goofy juice, you're going to need an ID. Like a real ID, like a driver's license or a passport. Your membership card of the secret furry society will not work. For us. Also, please drink responsibly. Nobody wants to see vomit explode out of your pyramid head costume. <laughs> Rule number three. Uh, guns, knives, or any serious weapons should probably be left at your home or arsenal. Unless it's a fake weapon that's part of your costume, it doesn't need to be here. Rule number four. It is June in Texas. We're gonna be here for three days. It's hot, it'll get sweaty, so if you don't wash yourself on a regular basis at this convention, I will kill you. <laughs> if I walk into a room and a big warm cloud of Frito pie tank hits me, I will kill you all. It's going. Rule number five, no drugs. Look, this is a special time of year when we all come together for a magical experience. So, you shouldn't need drugs to have that lovely little high you get when you're like, at the point is they'll kick you out, so don't do it. So, those are the official Akon rules. One more thing they didn't ask me to say, but I'm just going to throw in because of my experience at big conventions. One thing I recommend you get, Pronto, is hand sanitizer. Because that voice actor you just shook hands with probably didn't wash his hands after he pooped. Even if he did, the 50 people that shook his hand before you probably didn't need it. Look at the person on your left. Now look at the person on your right. Do you think both those people wash their hands every time? <laughs> no. So, protect yourself. Hand sanitizer. Especially with a good smelling kind. I like Twilight Woods. Okay, if you're just joining us, I'm gonna sum up this whole video by doing what I do on the internet. So, what if the official Akon rules had lyrics? Don't light up a cigarette or smoke inside. The only smoke should be coming from your big fat thighs if you want to drink booze. Don't make a mistake, bring a photo ID that isn't fake. Leave lethal weapons for another day. Only non-lethal weapons as part of cosplay. It's hot in Texas in the middle of June, so take a shower or I'll kill you with a spoon. And don't take drugs, oh me, oh my, just enjoy that natural otaku high. Hand sanitizer, please bring a ton. And don't forget to have lots of fun. And come to the
round of applause panel. that we realize we kind of need to address. There are cultural differences between other countries in here, Japan in here, Europe in here, cultural that, differences. that sometimes make people, who are you, very white, <laughs> that, that sometimes make people confused. They see a costume that looks like a certain thing, and they assume that that's what the individual is going for. Can I give an example? Uh, Please give an example. example. Yeah. yeah. That is not a dirty sign. In Japanese, that means number one. So if a band or somebody does that, they're going number one. Ichiban, number one. That's how it's done there. Please do not become offended that that is something that it isn't. Certain costumes come across that way. Realize that in downtown, we've had a Mavs game. And we have a whole bunch of people downtown that don't get it. So when fans come around, sports fans, I've seen it. It's not pretty. Be aware that some of your, your costumes that you wear may be appropriate to a particular anime or a particular cosplay, but may be considered in bad taste by other cultures. So if somebody behaves a certain way towards you, please don't get offended because they may not be understanding that your costume represents something else. It represents an anime, or it represents a band, or it represents the Japanese Self-Defense Force, or something else that you're paying homage to with respect. They don't understand that. So we don't want miscommunications to cause problems for the fans. So just be aware of that situation so that you guys don't have any trouble and so that uh, nobody else has any trouble as well. We're just making a note so that you can kind of think about that. Well put, Mary. Everybody nod your head like you understand this. Do we get it? See, I can't see any of you right now, but I'm just assuming you're doing it. Now, in Akon, <laughs> really? I am please. He needs a costume. He really needs a costume. He Eight, costume. six packs a week. Costume, 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 costume. costume. No. no, no. We said more, not less. More, not less. <laughs> You're not my wife. You can't say that. Neither am I, and I can. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not ready for office, so currently I'm not. Yeah, really. So we it's completely appropriate. Within ACON, over the years, we've had people that have been with us, and they come and they volunteer, and they give us a gift of their time. Mm -hmm. Volunteering is the core of ACON. We started as a fan club years ago, 20 years ago. Some of you weren't born. Some of you have grown up and have children that are younger than the show. Some of you are younger than the show, which is frightening, trust me. But along those lines, we've had some people that have been with us for multiple years in various capacities. So at the moment, we would like to recognize all of those fans who have generously given us the gift of their time and worked for ACON for 10 years. And, we'll, and I'm, I'm going to name all these people, and we want you all to come up, okay? If you're in the audience, please come up around the side there. Do not use these stairs. Use the stairs over there, follow the flashlight. Follow oh, the, the light, flashlight. walk to the light. <laughs> There's no stairs over there, dear. They're not going that way, dear. They're going, well, actually, okay, fine. If they just changed it on me, they didn't tell me. Follow That's them. Scary. Go over to this side of the stage. We're totally and then come over to the front. Okay. Stairs. Seven words. Will the following people please come up somewhere? There. Towards the two lovely ladies with the big box. And then from there, come up here. 
You read the first one. I, I share. I learned that on Sesame Street. Amber Chen, Carl Wise, who well, actually he cannot be here this weekend. He's very, very sick, and we are sorry to hear this, and we hope and pray that he gets better. Christina Bailey. Dante Martin, Com Patrol, Medical. Dustin, Dustin Hillard, James Crew. Genevieve Darkstar. Kimberly Beckham. Ricardo Guevara. Richter Dawson. Stephen Hendrick. TK. Com Patrol, Atlanta Labs. Tony Kostulik, Section 9. There's never enough Tonys in the world. This kind of stuff is important when we honor the people that have worked here so long and so hard to make this crown what it is today. So I know a lot of people sit down with a great award ceremony, whatever. I wonder what else is going on right now. So I get ready to ready for the concert. But this is really important. You know, because you guys wouldn't be here. None of us would be here if it wasn't for people like this that have spent their time, energy, and commitment to make this con great. So let's hear it for these people. <laughs> Ten years. Let's start over here. Let's start over here. One more hand. Give it up for your volunteers. Ten years. have the people that have been here for 15 years. 15 years. We are one of the cons with some of the longest, well, the least turnover in staff as far as having the most people stay with us from year to year. It's just incredible. 15 year list. Come, you know, somewhere. Amy Spengler. Please come up if you hear your Optional name. Optional Media Relations. Dean Davis, Executive Director. Evil John May, Stockmaster. Fred Boy, Section 9. Remy, Com Patrol. Santa Gagnon, EA Art Show Exhibits. Zach Cox, Com Patrol. Brotherhood. This is 15 years. Any of them here? No, they're calling this year. Ah, they're out! Oh, they're working. They're missing their own award ceremony because they're busy. I'd like to do blah blah, and we're like, hey, can we do blah blah? And she's like, yup. 
I'll figure it out. And she does, and we do. And we've had so many things to do with with uh, just her work over the years. I, again, I want to say a special personal thank you and a convention thank you to Laura. So give it up. Okay, we're almost done with now, this. She, we will not lead off. she will not be giving a flag because she will not leave off. Her tail is glued to a chair behind a desk with her crew until every single detail of this convention is handled and handled right. That's how she cares. And sometimes dealing with all the problems that some of you guys cause. Which is bad. Don't be that guy. So we, we have some other people, though, Mary, that are uh, 20 years. Okay, if you hear your name called, please come up to the front, and if you aren't working, because if you're here 20 years, you're usually out, probably off working somewhere. Please come up over here to this stage. Is that stage right? Please teach me what stages are. Is this stage right? Stage right. David Escamilla. I'm right. Diana Hubbard. Marco Soto. Mark Montgomery, Michael Vogel, get up here guys, who's here, is anybody here, they're all working, again, awesome, okay, it's a big room, they got a lot of fun, he is working, he is working actually, So, so we also have, we have some guests, we I heard, guests. things guests. like that. Guests, you know, that like sign stuff. So we have some guests. Amy Howard Wilson. These are, these are, these are voice actors. Amy Howard Wilson is here. Also, Shirley Lee is here. If you hear your name called and you are in the audience, please come up via the front stairs. Yes. So that we may make fun of you and torture you publicly. Not kidding. Because we love you guys. We, we spend hours sitting in front of the television screen. God, I love this show. And it's usually because of them. That's, that's the actress I've got on here, so here you go. We also have Mark Hildreth. Kyle Abair and Clint Vickham. Are any of them in the audience? They're, they the they're out signing autographs or at the bar. One or the other. After spending all day signing autographs. They're signing autographs at the bar. Yeah, oh, that's there better. You go. Uh, who did I make this up? Uh, Frank, is your name is... Frank's good. That's good for your name. Those are our actor and mini guests. However, we do have one other one. Yeah, uh, you might know me from uh, Full Metal Alchemist. I uh, did actually play uh, uh, Farm Worker number 27 <laughs> in uh, episode... Episode 128. Uh, episode, episode 14, yes. Yes, yes. And, you know, Galaxy Railways, Trinity Blood. I was, you know, I was... Uh, Galaxy Railways, I was conductor number four in, in one episode. It was like, special for me. Yeah. Not as big as credits. Webcomic guests, we have Phil and Kaja Folio. It's their first time to a convention. They're very happy with the steampunk scene right now, but they go back to very old a, uh, Star Trek fandom, and I remember reading their stuff when I was 15, for which I will probably die because I mentioned that publicly now, how young I was and that they're still around. And James Grant from Two Months. Mel Hines, who maybe on his Mel Hines is on, that's my card. Mel Hines! And Jenny Breeden. Thank you the guests? See, they're not enthusiastic. They don't think you like them. Yeah, see, because some of these people may be sitting in the audience and they're sitting there going, These people don't like me at all. I'm not coming back to hear me. Yeah, see. Now we also have some artists here, don't we? Yep. Who do 
do we have here for artists, Mary? Brad Foster, Priscilla Handy, Bruce Lewis, Amy Reader. Also we have Michael Poe, Brian Dunham, and okay, there is a name on this on this card, and he's not here. And that name is Mr. Steve Bennett. Now, many of you may know Steve is typically an Akon regular. He comes over from Japan every year to be here. He's also one of the wildest partiers that I've ever met. I can almost call him a 15-year volunteer at this point. Yes, but Steve could not make it this year, unfortunately. Due to the earthquake.